Okay, so I'm currently using my MacBook Pro and running VMware to install my Windows 7 operating system, which I'm going to be using for my SAP BW Sandbox environment. So I already installed VMware. If you don't have VMware, there's other free virtualization tools out there, like Oracle VirtualBox, or you can just go ahead and check out Amazon Web Services and spin up your own virtual machine based on the specifications that we've detailed. I'll load up VMware, and I'm going to be using an image because I'm using a .iso file for my Windows 7 installation. If you have your PC operating system disk, you can use that. If you have another installation disk around the house for Windows, you can use that as well. But since I'm using an ISO file, I'm going to be choosing this option. Okay, so now that my ISO has been loaded, go into press continue and I'll change my account name. Uh, it's very important that you create a password. So enter a password now. And if you have your product key, you can enter that now. And I'm going to be installing uh, Windows 7 Professional Edition. And choose the more isolated installation. We don't really want our server to be interacting with our primary PC or Mac. And before we uh, get going with the installation, let's customize the size of our virtual hard drive. Right now it's set to 60, that's pretty low. So let's bump that up. Before we do that, we must save our virtual machine. So I'll just leave this at its default, Windows 7, 64-bit, so x64, that's fine. Save that to the desktop. Then we're greeted with this settings screen because I decided to customize. Click on hard disk, and let's bump this up to at least 80 gigabytes. And if you have the space on your hard drive, I recommend going to you know, maybe 100 if you can afford it, just in case. But I'm going to go with 80 because I know that's sufficient. Okay, we can X out. And next we're greeted with the power on button for our virtual machine. We'll press play here and get the installation moving. Okay, so now we're just going through the traditional operating system setup. Just gonna go ahead and pause this until this part is complete. All right, so the install just completed and I'm going to log into my brand new Windows 7 environment. It took about, I would say 10 minutes to install. And now I'm going to go through and update the system to make sure I have the latest patches that Windows has pushed out since this Windows 7 image was created. So go ahead and update your system now by performing all required Windows system updates. So the entire update process will probably take you around an hour or two. There are a ton of updates and they all kind of build off of each other. So just keep coming back after your computer reboots and you download and install them and just keep checking by going on the start menu and just searching for update and there'll be a Windows update program, which is this one we're currently. But we've successfully upgraded our version of Windows 7 to incorporate all the latest patches that Windows has released. So now that we're fully up to date, let's install Java. And if you don't have Google Chrome installed, go ahead and install Chrome because it works a lot better than Internet Explorer. Going to go to Google and just gonna search for Java download. We'll go through the motions and download Java.
make sure to uncheck this box so you don't set Yahoo as your default search engine. The install was successful. Close out. And the next very important thing to do is change your computer's default system name. So go to My Computer, right click, and choose Properties. We can see here that my computer name is this long string that starts with Win Dash. Now this is going to be way too long for SAP to use, so let's shorten our computer name. We'll select change. And I'm just going to remove everything after win. And just have it say win seven for the computer name. Okay. Go ahead and restart. Okay, so now that we shortened our computer name, we have to boost up the amount of virtual memory that we have installed in the operating system. Now don't worry, you don't need to install extra RAM in your system. You just have to configure your computer to read from virtual RAM, which is basically going to leverage your hard drive space to simulate having additional RAM installed. So we have to navigate to our My Computer Properties Click Advanced System Properties. Under Performance, there's a Settings button. Click that. Toggle over to the Advanced tab. And right here we have this Virtual Memory setting. Let's go ahead and change that. We'll deselect this first box here. And we're going to manually specify our custom size to be 10,240 and 20,480. Press set. OK. 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 And the last thing we need to do before we install our sandbox environment, download and install WinRAR because SAP packages their files in RAR format. It's completely free. Okay, and this concludes our first lesson in configuring your virtual machine. In the next lesson, we'll download and install the trial version of SAP NetWeaver.